You trickster! Yee! Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! So let's take a look-see over here first so we can see some dialogue before we get to the actual chase. So the first world, Mumbles Mountain. Well, sure, certainly doesn't look like that I can actually go in there. Well, ah, poopers. Gotta find an image with a jigsaw piece missing and... Uh, oh, look at that, it's, it's right here. Uh, oh shoot, I... I think I just missed up my skipping dialogue. Ah, well, <laughs> that's all right. Yeah, well, you can pause that. I mean, on your playthrough, you can stop and uh, wait for Bottles to do his dialogue before jumping on the pedestal. But ah, oh, poopers. Ah, oh, poopers. I don't have that piece. Well, well, I guess we're gonna have to go back. So yeah, I just wanted to see the dialogue that was going on there, and I kind of feel bad about. Messing that dialogue novel. <laughs> anyway, let's go up here and grab a jiggy! Hi! <laughs> Everything's got eyes and everything talks. <laughs> Victory! Woo! Whoa! How did you swallow that? That that cannot be healthy in the slightest. Hey, what's up here? Hey, what's up here? Okay, I can't go that way. <laughs> so basically, I have no choice but to go into the first world. Eventually. And also, uh, Grintilla will taunt you uh, just like this. <laughs> like while you're exploring her lair and whatnot. <laughs> so that's always fun to hear. Alright, uh, we got the Jigsy. Jiggy Jiggy. Jigsaw Jiggy. So I just gotta slap that piece in. Via the A button. I kind of wish that uh, they would have had me put together a jigsaw puzzle or something like that. Uh, via these thingabobbers, but uh, it is not to be, I guess. It is not to be. Or will there be? Well, I guess we'll see. <laughs> okay, now I'm starting to rhyme like Gruntilda. Anyway! Mumbo's Mountain First World. Let's begin! Woo! <laughs> A little graphical error there, but whatever! Here we are! And this time I'm gonna be more careful with the dialogue to let it play before I do any of my actions. So we've got three moves to look for around these parts. We've got enemies to destroy on these parts, like this Grublin here. When he sees you, he charges at you. But yeah, he's a pretty easy enemy. It's World 1, and that's a delicious, mmm, honey energy. Mmm, so good. Jinjo! Yeah, those are Jinjos. And there's five of them in each world. I don't know if that's actually called imprisonment, based off of where it was. I mean, it's not like it was in a, in a cage or anything like that. I could have just went over to there and just exited the world. But anyway, he has a mumbo token. What's a mumble token? Well, you will find out later. But they say ikum bokum whenever you get them. Anyway, let's uh, grab some notes now and hear their dialogue as everything talks. There's a hundred notes per world. And do not die, otherwise your notes will be reset and you will be sad face. And that's why I said that lives are probably the most useless thing in this game because when you're trying to 100% this thing, if you die once while trying to get all the notes, you will be incredibly unhappy because you're going to have to recollect all the notes from the beginning. <sighs> and that's happened on some of the later worlds. Oh, World 8. Oh, World 8. I do not look forward to you. Well, anyway, <laughs> I'm going to go and flop myself down in the water for, to first get this Jinjo here. Actually, first, now I'm going to go underwater to get these notes. Heck yeah, and also I'm gonna switch between quick and slow via the A and B buttons so I can have more precision when ah, when collecting the notes. I missed one. How could I have possibly missed one? <laughs> That's why I needed my precision, but even being precise was not enough. <laughs> Alright, now I'm not you'll notice I didn't go up that side pathway just yet. Uh, you know that that one up there that's around there that's because I'm, I'm gonna go around clockwise basically and clear things out as I go then come back down around this way and do another loop around once I get a move and whatnot and here is Big Butt the Bull 
I'm not kidding you, that is his name. You can actually KO it, but it can still hurt you while it's down on the ground for some reason. I don't I don't really understand why it can. Oh, actually it's not doing so right now, but I thought it can hurt you when it's on the ground. Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> I just wanted to do that for the fun of it. And oh no! Oh no! It's the poor, poor honeycomb beehive! Well, well, since I took a hit, I might as well... Oh no! Its sacrifice will not be in vain, for I'll be able to recover my health. Um, by the way, if you have full health and you've dropped a bunch of honeycombs on the ground that you don't actually need, leave them! The world will constantly save them until you reach 10, and then the oldest honeycombs will disappear. So, this will not disappear unless you breach 10 on the said world, and yeah, just leave them, you will be a happy camper. Here's Kanga, the boss of the world here, he's pretty easy to deal with, he just throws some oranges, just has a good day. <laughs> so I'm just gonna let him do his dialogue, because I, I don't wanna make, I don't wanna miss dialogue again, not gonna make that mistake again. Now I'll stand on the switch, and uh, yeah, let him hit the switches, with his own oranges. There we go. There's one more switch over here. Nope, nothing that'll do it. Heck yeah! And you'll get a jiggy for your troubles. And I shall grab said jiggy. Woo! Yep. Ten jiggies. One hundred notes. Five jinjos. And two honeycomb pieces per world. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. I'll just get that out of the way right off the bat. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm not, definitely, definitely not ready to leave just yet. I got more exploring to do. Hey there, Chimpy. How's it going? Hmm, an orange. Eh, I'm sure I could do something regarding an orange. Like, I mean, there's oranges on this tree that seem to be in unlimited quantities somehow. <laughs> there we go, I got an orange. And here you go, enjoy. Yes, they are! Delicious! Mm. Yay! And by doing that tiny quest, we get another Jiggy! Yeah, this world is not going to last very long, as you can tell. <laughs> Woo! Victory! Woo! Alright. Hey, eggs! You even talk too! Amazing! So what about that ammo? Well, here we go. <laughs> the ancient ways of the egg. <laughs> Hold Z. Press top C button to shoot. Yes, it is that simple. Only with the Xbox 360 control stick. It's probably harder to do than the actual C buttons, but I will manage, I'm sure. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> that, uh, oh. Oh my, yeah, I... I wouldn't recommend doing that for the sake of the old anal canal and yes. <laughs> no, actually, that's it's vital for certain areas to do the egg poot, so keep that down C in mind. Got it? Good. Alright, he's gonna give up 50 to start with. We can max out at 100 eggs, by the way. I'm gonna collect a couple more over here, as long, along with a mumbo token. I need five of them, by the way. What is this switch? I can't seem to do anything with these switches. This is just ridiculous. Well, anyway, I can tackle Kanga the boss here now. Hey, how's it going? Are you gonna say something when I get up here? Yeah, you are. Are you now? <laughs> Ha! Take my eggs! <laughs> you don't stand a chance against my egg barrage! <laughs> oh shoot! I didn't think you were gonna shoot again. <laughs> Not that good, I guess. Because I dodged a couple of your shots already. Take that! How many more eggs? There we go. <laughs> I didn't want to overuse my eggs, basically. Yes, sulk. Sulk with shame at your inability to defeat a bear and bird combo. Anyway, I'll be back up there for that switch a little bit later once I get a new move, but for now I gotta go and flop around this way. And by flop around, I mean that I would literally flop around trying to get up there. <laughs> Things a bit slippy, huh? Find me and I'll teach you how to get up steep slopes, but... 
there's a way to get up this, because there's a little staircase type place here, and by the way, I can grab that. Oh wait, I oh I was at full health. Ah, whatever. Doesn't really matter all that much. <laughs> um I'm gonna go oh, this is ticker. The tick. I mean ticker the termite, excuse me. <laughs> Why did I think tick? Ticks are much, much smaller. <laughs> well, then again, termites are also a lot smaller. And obviously, there's a little, little prize right up there, right off the bat. And that was by far the hardest jiggy yet this world. <laughs> Bottle second move. Let's go. Woo! Talon trots. Heck yeah! How do you do this move? Well. We're gonna learn it right now. Hold Z, press left C. Got it? Good. And yeah, you gotta hold Z, otherwise you'll come out of your Talon Trot, and you'll be sad face. So yeah, here is the move, and this is probably uh, the best way to get around, really, because of how much faster you move, and don't forget to get that Mumble token up there. Again, you'll be sad face if you don't. You're gonna need five of them. Uh, but I will want to see Mumble's dialogue before actually collecting all the tokens, just for the sake of, you know, collection and, I mean, just for the sake of showing you everything and whatnot. There's another Jinjo. And now, I'm not gonna flop on these slopes! Yes, I can actually run around them, and I'm doing a poor job of getting these notes on- oh, of getting the notes on these slopes. But that is okay. Heck yeah, I got enough to open a door! That's a door at a place we haven't yet seen. Let's just put it that way. There's another Jinjo. Uh, it's it's that slope that I couldn't walk up back at Gruntilda's lair. You're, you'll see when I get into that. But basically, you need a set number of notes, well, or more, to get past the note doors in Gruntilda's lair. And that's why I'm collecting the notes here. It's a ex exploration type thing in the game to uh, sort of get you around looking for stuff and whatnot. And there's a lot of challenges involved getting all the notes, including the whole do not die thing, because that absolutely comes into play at later areas. And by the way, there's there's something that I can get down there, but I'm going to wait until I do something else. Let's just put it that way. Uh, for me to be able to get that more easily. And there we go. It's just, why, am I, why am I collecting the honeycombs? I told you guys to leave them, and I'm just like automatically collecting them by reflex. <laughs> uh, hmm. What about these huts? Hmm. These huts seem normal enough. Well, let's see if Bottles has anything to say about these huts. There's another token, obviously, under there. Beak Buster, jump into the air, press Z to send Kazooie slamming her down to the floor. That's, uh, yeah, I think that would cause concussions left and right. <laughs> well, yeah, we will be using that a lot, especially for switches. <clears throat> yes. <laughs> Alright, so about these huts. Get yourself up there, slam them down, and get the prizes inside. Oh, you stopped bouncing around. I kept going underneath the notes because they were bouncing. You, you stinkers of note variety. Uh, I guess I'll collect the eggs because this is still early in the game, and I, yeah, I gotta start stocking up on those. Might as well grab that mumbo token as long as they're going around in this direction. Oh, oh you sneaky snake. <laughs> There we go, Jinjo! Final Jinjo! That means we get a Jiggy for it! Heck yes, you gotta make sure you find all those Jinjos in each world. There we go, extra life. Completely and utterly useless. <laughs> well, I guess they do save you time, because if you game over, you have to walk up through Gruntilla's lair from the bottom up to where you need to go. But still. Completely useless for the most part. <laughs> Alright, there we go. I got all those huts cleared out, and I, yeah, I noticed I saved that beehive uh, just in case I need it later on, but I don't think I will. So, you want to be fed, huh, Juju? Alright, Juju bead. Boop! Oh. Uh, come on now, work with me here. Boop. There we go. They get a little bit faster. Do not shoot the last one, though, until you get something up top. There we go, look at this, look at this, oh yeah! The first of two in the world! Ah, oh, I'm terrible at timing this last one. 
Yeah. Come on, do it properly, Pika Gam. You can do it. Ah. <laughs> Yo. Yeah. And that'll give us the power of a jiggy. <laughs> Woo. That's number seven. And, 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 uh, I guess I'll go down here next, for the sake of organization. Look at that! There's another Jiggy just sitting right out in the open air. Isn't that delightful? Alright, number eight, so let's get these notes. Then I won't have to come back down here again. Yeah, well, at least until I exit the world, of course. Uh, and make sure that you exit the world as something different. Let's just put it that way. Because there's a little something something that I'm gonna, gonna have to set up with that. Let's just put it that way. Uh, I'm gonna be at oops, 90 notes here, so... Uh, actually, why, don't, why did I get out of my talent trough? This is, as I said, the best way to get around. And uh, notice that there's a little ledge on the edge of that mountain there. Yeah, that's the thing that I was talking about that I was up here that it's best saving for a little bit later. Um, so yeah, now that you've seen that stuff over there, I'm gonna go flop back over over to the switch, switch, switch here. The, those Gruntilda switches do stuff in Gruntilda's lair, basically, and you've got to find them in the worlds in order to actually make progress in... Well, not, not make progress, I should say make progress for 100%ing. For the most part, these are pretty optional. So yeah, you hit this, and something's gonna appear way up there, but you cannot talent trot up there whatsoever. It's just far, far too slippery. So we're gonna have to find a different way to get up there. And how are we gonna get that? Well, you're gonna see very, very shortly. But for now, I'm gonna go up to Mumbo, finally, to uh, see his dialogue now that I did the full loop-de-loo around the world here, and I am way off track. <laughs> That's okay. I was just going straight up the hill, but I should have been going at an angle, but eh, whatever. It's a fun game, and I will enjoy every minute of it, including if I get offline. And, oh, look at that! There's a Jiggy right in the eye! Oh, look, it's magical! <laughs> Is there anything behind the huts? Um, I don't think... I think there's like an egg or something. Uh, no, there wasn't. No. Oh, wait, maybe I'm thinking of what's inside the hut around the uh, the perimeter. You'll see what I mean uh, when I get into this here. Hey, how's it going? See, I need five mumbo tokens according to that sign. Hey, how's it going? Yes, yes. Well, you're the only sham man in the game, let's put it that way. <laughs> So yeah, you gotta find the mumbo tokens, and we gotta get our fives. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, that's okay. <laughs> so anyway, let's first get these notes around here, and then I'm gonna go up on the edges of his huts very carefully. Yep, gotta go on top of that post in order to pull that off. Because you can't quite flap flip to get up here from that angle. Because, yeah, you'll see if you go, like, down from here. Well, maybe you could, Hold on, maybe you could reach that. Uh, no, not quite. Okay, so I was right about using the post. <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. I want to press the switch. No, I can't press the switch. I don't have the power of the tokens to even do that. So, okay, where is that last mumbo token? Well, you might have noticed as I was flopping around the mountain. That there... Why did I grab that? <laughs> that there is this hole right here. This termite mound over here. Hey, how's it going? Oh, come on. Why, why are you? We could be friends. Well, if it's gonna... You're gonna be like that. I, no, I grabbed it! Ah, forget it. <laughs> so, there's the last mumbo token. And we cannot, for the life of us, get up there with the power of the talent shot. So we're gonna have to find some other way to get up there. And what's that other way to do it? Well, we're gonna go back to Mumbo now, and use the power of the tokens to get a new... Well, I guess, I guess you could say not a new power, because it's not gonna be a permanent thing. But it, it is gonna give us a new ability to be able to traverse that. Yes, yes! Sweet! Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's see the Mumbo magic! Press B! Here we go! <laughs> I'm a termite with a backpack! <laughs> Yay! But do not transform back when you're done. Uh, believe me, I'm, I'm gonna t tell you this right now, because you're not done after collecting everything in termite form. You've actually got to leave the world as a termite to fully, I guess you could say, complete this world, because... 
yeah, part of this world is used for a part of the Gruntilla Lair overworld via this termite, so yeah, you gotta leave the place as a termite in order to do that, but just, yeah. Anyway, let's go up and around, and here we go, look at this, we can now traverse it! We have the sticky legs of happiness! <laughs> and we're gonna get a little dialogue from, and by the way, I'm completely defenseless right now, so I've gotta, gotta kinda tread lightly. I got all the notes! <laughs> I'm trying to do a dance on the wall, but it's failing anyway. <laughs> whoa, 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 what am I doing? I should have been watching where I was going there. Just get, let the camera move around. There we go, Pika Gam. Yes, you know you could do it. Just gotta be a little more patient. And I guess I'll grab these eggs. <laughs> and you guys, you guys don't like bears of your own kind, I swear. Alright. Now, if you want to get an extra life, if you're daring... Eh, 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 there we go. <laughs> it's not that difficult to get, really. It's just basically a beginner's test of sorts. There's the world's last Jiggy. Ever get a little fanfare for getting them all? Woohoo! And now, remember that thing that I said that was down over here? This is with the power of our sticky legs. There it is. The last thing in the world. And if you'd like to check... As proof, few totals, Mumbles Mountain, 100%ed in 18 minutes and 26 seconds. Heck yeah, but we're not done. No, 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 we're not really done, 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 done. There's still a little bit attached to this world that we gotta do via ter in termite form, but we got everything and we can officially leave the world without worrying about our note totals and the notes in the world resetting or anything like that. So yeah, see, uh, they they actually s clarify this later on. Uh, Rare said that this is actually a glitch uh, back in the earlier game that the notes reset and you're not supposed to actually... I mean, they're not actually supposed to reset, they're supposed to stay collected according to Rare. But according to that dialogue, it sure doesn't sound like a glitch, does it? So I guess uh, they had ran into some trouble in the makings and whatnot and... Yeah, they just put in that dialogue to give an excuse for the notes. And anyway, that is the thing that we need the powers of the termite for, because we cannot talon trot up there for the life of us. And by the way, when you open up doors to the world, you'll see enemies from the world pop into Gruntilda's lair and hanging out. And uh, <laughs> uh oh, uh oh, oh no, it's getting weak. I'm too far away. No, well. It's much, much faster to do this than to actually go back to the place and turn back. Plus you get to see this dialogue, so yeah, I gotta be back in this form to uh, continue on my trek through the game anyway, because I'm, I'm completely defenseless, as I said, and I gotta be able to attack. <laughs> so here's one of those note doors that I was talking about. See that 50? We got 50 notes, so we can pass through the power of the note door. <laughs> And if everything goes well, I should never be short on notes. <laughs> hmm? Let's see here. It's not that simple, really. Oh, that's impossible. Um, but I've already got those, so of course it's simple. It'll just kind of vaporize. <laughs> I just walk up to it, it'll vaporize, and then we'll have a good time. <laughs> Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So yeah, all the best note scorers. That means... Try and get as many notes as you possibly can, all the way up to 100 in each world. What? Yeah! Heck yeah! I think we're gonna get a little cutscene when I go through here too, if I recall correct- Well, no, I guess not. That's alright. <laughs> There's a little bit of dialogue, though. Or is it? <laughs> And here is Gruntilda's sister. <laughs> hey, how's it going? <laughs> this is Brentilda. I mean, yeah, I was. I, well, uh, I don't know what I was gonna say there. Never mind. I was gonna sort of kind of spoil something there, and I shouldn't have, so let's just put it that way. <laughs> so, um, she knows all Gruntilda's secrets, and this is actually very important. Because every time you find her, she'll tell you three of those secrets. And I want you to write these down every time I find Brintilda, because 
there is something that's gonna be needed that, regarding these fun facts. Let's just put it that way. And this is what I was explaining at Mumbles Mountain. And yeah. Alright, so... He brushes your rotten teeth with the salted slug flavored toothpaste. Mmm, delicious. And washes your hair with baked beans. Mmm. Finally, she gets her clothes from the trash can. <laughs> And with that, I'm gonna end off this part here. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part when I continue on my exploration of Gruntilda's lair, and probably start the next world as well. Oh, yes, yes, so, so exciting! <laughs> Bonus clip! This is of the dialogue that you get if you decide to skip the tutorials earlier on in the game. I had to go through this again because, you know, I had to record the other clip earlier in the part. That's why I got this clip here.